Lesson 27, complementary num subtraction using complementary numbers with respect to 10 in the 100s column. All right, this isn't going to be too hard for you, I don't think, so we'll just do a few of these because this is, this is some fun stuff. Let's put the number 423 on your abacus, 423. And we are going to take from that the number... 299. I know, just about anybody. If, if I said 423 minus 299, we're probably getting to the point where you can't do that in your head. And the abacus, abacus can do it. And if you're a good visualizer, you could picture the abacus and probably figure this out. But let's go through it. Okay. So here's our number, and we're going to take from that 299. Well, there's a 2 in the hundreds column. There we go. That's done. Take away 9 here. We already know what to do. There's not enough beads. So that means we add the complement and take one away there. And we do the same thing again. There's a 9 in the 1s column. So I'm going to add the complement and take away that there. So the number 423 minus 299 is 124. A 1, a 2, and a 4. Cool. All right, let's do another one there. Okay, 861 minus 187. Let's put 861 on the abacus. An 8, a 6, and a 1. And we are going to take from that 187. So there's a 1, eight, an 8, and a 7 that we got to take away. Oh, there we go. Just took away the 1 in the 100s column. We got an 8 to take away in the 10s column. Well, not enough beads. No problem all we have to do. And there is a 7 in the 1s column. Well, here's what we do. So 860 861 minus 187 is a 6, a 7, and a 4. All right, let's try 354 minus 185. 3, 5, and a 4. 354 minus 185. All right. So 100, we, we take away 1 in the hundreds column. There is an 8 that we need to take away in the tens column. So we don't, we don't have enough here. That means we add the complement to the number 8, which is 2, and take away 1 in the next column over. And there is a 5 in the ones column. We don't have enough beads, so we're going to add five and take one away in the next column over. 354 minus 185 is a one, a six, and a nine. 169. 354 minus 185 is 169. Now, this isn't hard. And I'm, I, I think we might be stretching you, but that's not a problem. I think you're going to get this. Let's do one more, and I think you will have this. Let's do 469 minus 281. All right, clear our abacus. A 4, a 6, and a 9. 469 minus 281. All right, so we take away two here. That one was easy. We take away eight here. This is still easy because we're getting used to complementary numbers. I added two and then took away one there. That's how we do it. The ones column in this case is going to be a piece of cake. It means all I do is slide one away. And there is our answer. 469 minus 281 is 100. 80 and 8. All right, I think that ought to be enough. Go ahead and print off your worksheet and work through these problems of subtraction in the hundreds column using num complementary numbers with respect to the number 10. And when you are done, come back for some new fun.